Hey YouTube, Mike here. How are we all doing today? I hope we all had a happy new year. I know I haven't gotten a video out in a while, but I have been so busy, I've actually working Saturday and Sunday. It's crazy busy out there. And I'm finally got a weekend off to myself. And um, I, I gotta get a video out. So again, I apologize for not getting a video out, but um, you know, it's still busy, but some of these jobs I had to work on weekends. So, okay. Um, I got three, of course, you can see I got three new Milwaukee pieces here. Um, and I did a review on this 48, uh, no number, 48228433. This is that um, deep organizer. And I did a, like kind of like an unboxing of it or whatever you want to call it. But we have now been using these. I think I almost went out. I don't know. I might have done the video two months ago. We own 15 of them now. I got all of the smaller ones, you know, except that those like these, the ones that are little, you know, even, I mean, look, even the, the, the ones first size, how much of a difference they are. I got, we just took them off the truck, stacked them and put them in the second floor of our shop. These things are phenomenal. I mean, whether you want it for your garage or for you guys out there that are working, and I know I showed it on my Renai channel, these things fit more stuff in it than we could even imagine. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a standard large pack out. Fits, you know, fits on the regular pack out system. You know, you can get the half one on top of it. Um, <laughs> but I got that. <laughs> I got the thing in here. Hold on. All right, where are we? We're behind all the cardboard. <laughs> and it locks in. And it is, it's got one, two, three, four, like double compartments and one, two, three, four quarter compartments. And you can, if you want to, remove the divider. Kaizen insert if you want to. But for like, you want to put your electrical stuff in here. Uh, you want to put your stuff to, for repair lawn sprinkler. We like have one of these. We put our. We actually put the smaller like here. I mean, this is not the full size, but we drop that in so we can make it a double. And our open off fittings that that expansion. So make one just for three quarter, one for half inch. Mark them. They got a nice large area here you could P-touch or, you know, if you got good handwriting, you write it on. And now we just bring this in on the job site. It's got more than what we can expect. I mean, we, on, on a stand, like, we just did a big restaurant. If you guys have followed me on Instagram, you saw the, the um, pictures I posted. Um, we must have used a hundred three-quarter elbows you can get at least I think uh, three bags 75 inside of one of these you know if just and you just line them up they w are so good they're um, 49 95 uh, they are the best storage of the pack out system I feel by far well, like I said we own I, 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 I it's got to even be close to 20 that I, I just went in and I bought like five at one day at Home Depot and just the big truck just took off all the small stuff put this on works great we put our big hangers in them the big clevis hangers kind off and we got like a few empty we load them see I load you know the milk crate we have a bunch of milk crates we just load the milk crate per job put them on top of the tankless heater we got three tanklesses next week to do. Each one's got a milk crate on top of it with everything that we possibly are going to need besides like, you know, like each individual fitting we don't put in. But then like with this, 
we just load this up and then put it with that, click the uh, milk crate on top of it and bring it in. And that's it. And then we have a pack out that has the uh, um, tools in it. But yes, this, um, this is, oh God, it is so cool. It is so nice. Just, you know, it does get a little weighty, you know. Especially with, uh, I know a friend of mine on Instagram put like inch and a quarter uh, black iron fittings in there. I think it must weigh a ton. But we have one with like three quarter black iron and half inch black iron in it. And yeah, it does weigh a little bit, but it's nice and neat. It just clicks right into the rack system and that's it. Done. All right. So. That's the fall. I picked up, yes I know, some of you are going to say, oh, Beetle Pro. Hear me out. When I go to a job, I have the Vito Pro bags on the truck, and I have, and I also have stuff that's inside of a pack out. And the other day I had to go put in, I had to go trim out a kitchen, dishwasher, and a, a garbage disposal. I had to go into three boxes to get each individual tool to, to do that. Now, even trimming out like a vanity or setting a toilet or the shower trim, pretty much you need the same tools. You know, some are a little different, but you, you need pretty much almost the same tools. So, and then what I do is I keep now, and I'm, next week I'm going to be doing, I finally finished uh, stocking, mounting, everything I need in the truck. I'm going to do a video on it. And I keep the Milwaukee hand truck in the truck. And I just bunch, I fold up the uh, blade and I leave it in there. Very bungee cord out. I got to get from anything behind it or I can reach around it, but now it's in there. And I can take the shelf, the, the drawer system off. I have a the milk crate. And now with this, I can just get the tools that I need, put them in here. And yes, I do use a level. We do bring in a two foot level. We have two and four foot Milwaukee levels. I can throw my drills in here, my saws all in here. I will leave some stuff in here and this I'll now bring in because it locks into the bottom. Yes, I'm a little anal when it comes to that. Um, I have spilled the Vito Pro bag over, wheeling this across grass, like when we do an outdoor summer kitchen. I have spilled the Vito Pro bag in the grass like two or three times and you know a lot of choice words while I'm picking the stuff up out of the grass and of course here in Florida everything is wet so your tools are now wet you got to dry them so I'm going to give this thing a shot and it was 90 I got it Home Depot $99 and it's the 15 inch bag and you know everything will be in the description below it's the 4822 like I said, that's it's. I don't. I own the bags, and you'll see them when I do the truck. I own the zipper tool bags, and what I did is I used them to put like anything I need for a toilet, anything I need for a sink, anything I need for a vanity, anything I need for a flushometer. That's in my in those bags. Instead of having a million bins, I just put it in the bag. Now that also will click onto the hand truck. Tools on one side, bag on the other, milk crate on the top. Wheel it in, and as I say on my Renai channel. Bob's your uncle and Fanny is your frappin' aunt. So we'll see what this is. Nice. I mean, it's got, uh, what is it got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 tool pockets. Then it's got three, like, screwdriver pockets. The back side of the bag is all open where you can put. Be good if you bring it closer. Bring it farther. Bring it closer. So, you know, you can put your drill, your sawzall, your impact. Um, this is for a level. You can cinch it down. It's got these two side pockets, and then, you know, you can always put your Milwaukee ruler or tape measure. It's got one zipper pocket here. And then, it, oh, this is the pad. This, I was wondering, uh, when I was looking at it, it's a pad when it's up against you. Then it's got uh, four 
uh, electrical tape. This is so you can put your electrical tape on it, you can put your keys on it, you can put your um, Teflon tape on it, anything that's in a circle. Then you have six bit bags, little bit holders. And then on this side, there's, yes, there is one more zipper pocket. It's not that deep. You can get drill bits in it and stuff like that. It's pretty, it's got some pretty, pretty, it's, you know, it's got nice reinforcing. I mean, it's, it's not a Vita Pro, but, you know, it's it come nice little shoulder strap. So when you carry it, they, that little pad will protect your, your delicate hip, or at least my delicate hip. No, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how this um, how this works out. And yeah, it's got some nice riveting to it. Heavy, heavy material. Plastic bottom again. You know, it's got the lock in. The six point lock. Well, we'll see how it works. All right, this thing. Now. We bought this, I actually bought one of these off online. I actually bought two of them online. This one is the 4922-5621 Hike. And it is their, um, it's a 20 piece, the whole dozer set. But this one is Home Depot. It's got a plastic thing on it, no it doesn't. So what this one has is it comes with, it's got a little foam insert, pack out of course, anything pack out, I love, a little plastic insert in here to hold it in. So what it has is it has its standard arbor and it's the one that you push up and down. I love this one. I hate this, I don't like the screw one. And then your, and I'll read you off what it has. Where are we here? Okay, it's got a two, two and an eighth, two and a half, two and three quarters, and a three inch. And basically, screws on, don't screw it all the way down. Look inside of it till you see the holes line up, push it up, and now it's locked in. And you don't want to push this all the way down so that you could pull this out and unscrew it to clean it. But the beauty about it, and if you're familiar with the other, we used to call them hole saws. Because they used to, we used to have the auger bits, the arbor bits, the paddle bits. These things came out. My father, my uncle loved them. But now these have the vented holes. Brings the heat down a little bit. But it also gives you a nice place to pull out. Like I like those other, the red uh, dose. Do I have them? Yeah, I do. I like these blades. Let me see. I hope this is it. Oh, God. I got some crap all over here. But it's not. I have this also in the pack out. I like this set. The carbide tip. Because when this thing chews the wood out, we use this one specifically like for two inch. You could just pull the core right out. It's very nice and it has that, um, it actually has a 3-8 paddle bit that is the starter bit for this. I like these better for doing, um, but for the price of $99, it's, um, and they do have this in a pack out, this set. They do have this one in a pack out set. I don't know what the number is on this one. Yes, it is. 49, 56, 92, 85. And it's the eight piece big hog. Boss hog, remember Boss hog from the Dukes of Hazard? Um, but this is a real nice go to set. And it's not expensive. And if you're going to go through like stucco, well, uh, we have done it through stucco, but it kills a bit immediately. Um, it comes with the Allen key so that you can change the, and it, 
you you change it through here so if you push it up you won't see it if you push it down you can now put the allen key in here to change the starter bit and with the milwaukee starter bits and they've been like that for a long time they have a flat side to it so it, it grabs so you know, like if you just throw a drill bit in here this thing's going to spin so when you're putting this in you got to make sure i don't know if you could see you see there's a flat side right there you got to make sure the flat side is in and then tighten it down and of course always mark this so that you know the depth and then remark the new one before, and then you could sharpen this one it's got a nice, it's got a foam insert it's not kaizen it's got a foam insert and then again it goes up to this one is the three inch yeah that's the only thing i don't like and you can't really highlight it because they just get one off is that especially with like my eyes and then once you keep using these it kind of wears out the paint and you're trying to look at what size is this thing that's the my only little you know with any hole saw they get worn out and that's the three inch but this set comes with it comes with 12 sawzall blades it comes with Four six six inch eighteen tooth per inch metal, four six inch fourteen tooth per inch or TPI metal, and four six inch five TPI wood blades. So you're getting twelve sawzall blades with it, and they're decent. There's a de they're decent blades. You know they're not the demolition blades, but they are decent blades. And it's like I said, it's in a nice large double pack out um and i have one on there's one on each truck and uh, matter of fact no um the one on the big truck is actually somewhat similar to that we have it stored up high with a bunch of other dozer blades and stuff um i have one of these on my own truck um and they work great and for the price you're getting a lot for 99 dollars a lot and so home depot's got them so that's that but these and that hands down um, especially that large tote now um, like I said it, it will get a little heavy when you when you load this thing up it will get a little heavy when you load it up you know PVC fittings like if you guys do like lawn stuff Lawn sprinkler or uh, water softener, guys. You can get a lot of fittings, adapters, elbows, 45s. You can get a ton of stuff. You can get like the whole job in here, a couple of jobs in here. So, yes, this really was has been a game changer for us because we can get more material onto the job site and less walking back and forth to the truck. So, um, yeah, that's it. Um, Okay. Um, yeah, as you can see, I have the spray boot set up because for Christmas, my wife bought me uh, some radio controlled. You know, I like the, the tractor trailers and especially the European one. So here's one. It, just, it came in after Christmas. But I'm building the tow truck, a Volvo tow truck right now. And here is a Mercedes. 114th scale 8x4 uh, dump truck so it's four wheel steering two two wheel two that rear wheel um, double axe double tandem dump body it actually dumps it's got a dumping mechanism that on another channel it'll dump it's full it's got a full sound system lights and I'm building, and if you, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I'll be posting pictures. I'm, I've been now working on it a month um, on this a Volvo tow truck. Um, I've gone through, I've already gone through three large cans of primer and five medium-sized cans of yellow paint. And I'm still not, I still need like another three cans. It's a massive body. And the actual big tow mechanism that picks up the wheel, front wheels of a tractor trailer 
Uh, you can actually make this the boom go in and out, the cables go up and down, full light sound system, flashing lights. It's got these fog lights, front running lights, marker lights, um, startup, air brakes, backup alarm, blinkers, everything. It's made by a company, Tam Tamaya. Um, I've built, oh God, I don't know how many, but I'm really into it. I love the, uh, the semis. And actually here is, it's, I don't get the box came, this is another Japanese company, but this here is a 40 foot triple axle flatbed trailer. It's just the trailer. No, and um, I'm going to put, I can put wire, pipe, whatever on there, and the truck will hitch up. It's got the full hitch mechanism, landing legs come down, lights. It's a big kit. Um, I got a build. It's got actual chrome wheels, the bed, all metal. Um, I found this, this kit. I didn't even know the company existed, so... So well, that's that. Oh, it's a three-speed transmission too, so I can you shift this. The, the you can shift to get like a low, a high, a medium, low gear, second gear, top gear. You build the whole transmission, everything. I love I love building these things. So, but yeah, if you follow me on Instagram, my Instagram will be below. Follow me on Instagram, and you'll see my uh, photos of it. All right, YouTube. Enough with the toys. Um, all right, again. Thank you for all the likes, the comments, the subscribes. You know, hit that um, subscribe button, hit the little bell, hit the like. It helps the channel out. And um, I'll be now regular po posting these things. Like I said, we're still busy, but um, my weekends now for the next couple, well, a couple of weeks so will be pretty free. All righty? Okay, you all be safe out there, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye now.